perhaps you'd like to read for our gay role. Lance, the neighbor. <laughs> why is it always Lance? Which is why I, I was am doomed a from birth. Throw a rock into a pond. Ripples fade away. Hey, hey, hello. Welcome back. If you're new here, I am Lance B. And I am reacting to. Well, let's see what we're reacting to. We it is LGBT. No, it's Pride Month. We don't call it. It's Pride Month. It's still Pride Month. I was able to get one Pride video out this month. This is gonna be my second one. We're gonna do a movie. Probably a lot of you I'm not aware of. I remember this movie first coming out, and I loved it because it had Patrick Stewart as a gay man. I know. But anyway, it has Patrick Stewart. Who else has it? The I think they said Sig Sigourney Weaver was in here too. Uh, Michael T, the sexy Michael T. Wise. You'll see who he is in a, a momentarily. Um, and Stephen Weber. What Stephen Weber? If you're from, remember in the early '90s, I think him and Stuart Hayden Church or whoever that guy Hayden Church they had a TV show called Wings. And that's what I first saw him at, and now he's in this movie. And the synopsis of the movie is Jeffrey, who plays by Steven Weber, a young gay man in New York decides to have uh, decides that sex is too much and decides to become celibate. He immediately meets the man of his dreams. Enter Michael T. Wise, <laughs> um, and must decide whether or not. Love is worth the danger of having a danger of a boyfriend dying. Now, the AIDS epidemic, you know, and AIDS was very serious during this time period. So, and it still is. And um, so, it's one of those movies that you know AIDS is in this movie, which you, we should always, always remember our. past brothers and sisters and of our community and even in the straight community who died from this horrible um this horrible thing uh so anyway jeffrey is from 1995 the i was a junior in high school when this movie came out um, I even bought the soundtrack. The soundtrack's actually pretty good. And the movie is really charming. It's really good. And it's really cute. There's a lot of cute parts in it. And uh, hopefully we'll get to see the whole movie together and YouTube won't give me a hard time. Now, the mo person who put up the movie was Victor Loren. Victor Loren, thank you for putting up this movie. Um, so let's actually, let me uh, thumbs up for you. And subscribe to your channel and uh see how easy that was folks now you can do that with my channel if you haven't done that yet so let's get into this movie i'm really excited it's been i can't even tell you how long it's i've seen this movie and uh let's just get right into it shall we come on let's uh widen this up a little bit I have my face down here, so hopefully it doesn't cover up anything. I love sex. It's just one of the truly great ideas. I mean, just the fact that our bodies have this built-in capacity for joy oh, just what? makes me love God. Amen. Yes. Ooh, they're already starting to get it in already. It broke. It broke? Don't worry. It, it broke? It's okay. It broke? That's Stephen Weber, just in case if you ever figure that out. Ooh. 
Let's just cuddle. Cuddle? Like little bunnies or little babies. It's so much better. Why you have the per... No. Then what? Then sex. That's my latest medical test. Mm -hmm. The results of my blood test from a month ago. A month ago. Last week. Last week? You got laminated and everything. I'm also going to need to know the name of your internist, your most recent x-rays, your passport, and a list of all your previous sexual contacts. But isn't that a little extreme? Do you want the apartment? <sighs> Do you remember the two exists commercial? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That'd be my nightmare. <laughs> no, I can't take it. It's insane. Enough. Sex is too sacred to be treated this way. Sex was never meant to be safe or negotiated or fatal. But you know what really did it? This guy. I'm in bed with him, and he starts crying. Oh God. So he says. I'm sorry. It's just... Well, he's cute. This used to be so much fun. So, no sex. Not for me. Done. Excuse me. Uh, where's Third Avenue? Oh, <laughs> god um, damn. It's right over there. Girl. Hey, sure. Anytime. Pull up to my bumper, baby. Uh, don't mention it. Holy shit. Welcome! Welcome. Oh, and you know what? Oh, it's gonna be fine. Because I am a naturally cheerful person, and I will find a substitute for sex. Sex light. Sex helper. I can't believe it's not sex! <laughs> I'll find a great new way to live and a way to be happy. So, no sex. No sex. I'm ready. I'm willing. Let's go. It's the answer. I'll just pour all my physical needs into working out. No sex, just sweat. Um, can I get a spot? Uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Enter Michael T. Wise, this sexy motherfucker right here. Yeah, be You got it. Oh, and the deep voice too. How much do you want? Huh? Huh? Mm -mm. Forty fives. I just joined. Lord have mercy. Oh, look like at that. Those oh, pets. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Steve. Oh, that smile, too. Oh, Jeffrey. Jeff. So you okay? Sure. So, uh, do you want to do your Fuck right here? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure. Go in the shower, maybe? Oh, God. Oh, my God. You ready? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One. <sighs> two. That's right. Come on. Three. Four. You love it. Come on, come on. Five. Six. <laughs> One more. Come on. You're ready. I'm with you. Don't, don't stop. 
<laughs> That's so hot. Push it. You want it. You need it. Come oh, so give me everything. Me. Every ounce. Every drop. Pump it. Pump it. Baby. Oh my god. You are too much. You are the best. Uh, you are the most. You are the king. You're there. Uh -huh. You're doing it. Come to Papa. You're on oh it. Go. 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 Oh. 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 <sighs> Great set. Me too. I mean, look at those legs. Thanks, oh my god. Spot. Anytime. You look oof, great. Thanks. You look terrific. Jeffrey. Oh, oh Jeff. Yeah. What would happen if I kissed you? Yes. Right now. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you, yes. You want to? Yes. Uh, I have to. Uh, Don't be a pussy now. Water just, fountain. Just chicken shit. No, I am not. I'm dehydrated. I, I need carbs. I'm ready. No, I, I, I need to work on my abs. I need a protein shake. Do you like amino acids? You bet. Oh. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can't. Hold on, hold on. No, no, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Oh my god. I fucked up. I fucked up. You look. I fucked up. <laughs> I got to say that again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. These two girls are so awesome. Is everything. Oh man. Oh. 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 No. God damn, don't run like you got the cooties and shit. Mother Teresa? <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> yeah, I mean... You saw Mother Teresa. Oh, Patrick Stewart. I swear, she helped me up. Well, how did she look? Well, I don't know. Patrick Stewart's such a diva in this movie. I love oh, please. it. Please, she's had work done. She's... <laughs> Can I do this? Or do I look like some sort of gay superhero? Sterling, I think I'm giving up sex. You are? Why? Well, I just think it's time. <laughs> I mean, I love sex so much, but everything's gotten too scary. It's too overwhelming. My dear, what you need is a relationship. A relationship? Hmm. And shoes. If you had a boyfriend, then you could relax. You'd set the rules once, then everything would be fine. That's what Darius and I did, and we've been together now for almost two years. Yes, but Darius is a dancer. He's in Cats. Oh, my. Exactly. I said you needed a boyfriend, not a person. I mean, I really do love Darius. He's like, uh, he I could be your body. boyfriend. <laughs> I love his smile. He has great hands and feet. I mean, on some dancers, the toes are all smushed. And I would just simply say, sorry, Misha, uh-uh, not without socks. Uh, and Darius loves me. Lord knows why. And how is Darius? Is he, is he back in the show? Of course. He's fine. It's just a reaction to the AZT. They adjusted the dose. He's great. Of course. This one you can still smoke at the restaurant, y'all. <laughs> of course I know. But I have made a decision. I've always been lucky. All my life. Well, obviously. And I intend to stay lucky. Yes, pa? And you still have sex? Of course. Safe sex. The best. 
Two cappuccinos. Thank you, darling. Big kiss. The earring. Fun. Last year. I mean, Jeffrey. <laughs> Just sex. Just sex? Just sex? <laughs> Skip Winkley and welcome to It's Just Sex, the show where we explore humans. This movie is another reason why I kind of forgot how how campy can be, but it's a good kind of campy. It's really fun. Sexuality and win big prizes. And what a great group of contestants we have today. Three gay men. Hi, Skip. Hey, Skip. Bisexual. Oh, me too. Now it's time to play It's Just Sex. Remember, <laughs> each question may have more than one correct answer. The most stylish reply wins. Waiter. His name Isn't is Waiter. Lovely? Look who I'm asking. <laughs> question number one. What seemingly harmless events can now be fatal if they occur during sex? <laughs> A paper cut. Recent dental work? Fluorescent lighting. Correct for 100 points! Fluorescent lighting. Number two. Who is your favorite sexual fantasy? <laughs> Denzel Washington. Yeah, that bisexual. Jim. Yoko Ono. What? To see the apartment. Correct again for 100 points! And now our bonus round where everything can change for 500 points. Let's say there's a fella who just loves having sex more than anything. What will happen to him if he just flat out dag nabbit stops? Oh my. Ooh. Um, Skip, my answer is. I love is the sound effects. If the fella stops having sex, he will pour himself into his career, and all that rechanneled energy will create incredible career karma, and it'll be a huge success and fantastically happy. Absolutely right! <laughs> hold it, hold it, the judges have a question. Nothing really, just a minor technicality. Uh, it is true that a soaring career will compensate for no sex, but what exactly is your career? Well, uh, I'm an actor, waiter. Which means? I win! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm an unemployed actor. And I'm talented. I, think I wonder I, if that's his real Last week I wrote for a part on a TV show. Read page 33. The show is Manhattan Precinct. The role is police officer number two. Now remember, there are no small parts. <laughs> well, actually, there are. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, you've just burst <laughs> in on the <laughs> evil are. ghetto drug lord. Okay. You can go out. Come in. Go out. Action! Hold it right there, Diego. Freeze. You're a hero. Uh -huh. You mean business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take, take, yeah, again. Okay. He's so cute. He's Action. so adorable. Hold it right there, Diego. Freeze. You loathe him. You scorn him. Make me feel it. It's more. It's prime time. Action! Hold it right there, Diego! Freeze! <laughs> Hold it right there, Diego! It freeze! <laughs> Hold it right there, Diego! Oh, I, I just hate you! <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to read for our gay role. Lance, the neighbor. <laughs> Why is it always Lance? Which is why I, I was am doomed a waiter. from birth. A cater waiter, to be exact. Oh. Uh, I work at parties, and it's a lot of fun, actually, because I get to go everywhere. 
Oh, Private yeah, homes, this is when they don't give a shit Central if you're wearing Park, gloves or not. Hotels, <laughs> it's just people's it's like food. Gay National Guard. Jeffrey! <sighs> if you're anyone at all, you've ignored me, but I don't mind because I've tried on your fur. Good evening, everyone. Uh. I'm Anne Marwood Barton. Oh, this diva right here. I love her. She's and such like a great I'd like to welcome actress. you all to Country Western Night here at the Essex House. A hoedown for AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> the red ribbon I wear stands for AIDS awareness. The lavender ribbon is in memory of those who have died. The pink ribbon is for breast cancer. And, uh... Oh, the diamond spray is a gift of my first husband. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Chow down. <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm a cow person. <laughs> look at me. I'm a cow person. I love her. Hey, I need uh, an absolute tonic and two spritzers. Boy, I was hoping I'd run into you. I wanted to apologize about the other day at the gym. I came on a little strong. Oh, no, 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 you were great. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I took off. I was acting weird. Uh, an actor. I thought so. Have I seen you in something? Well, uh, did you see Manhattan Precinct two weeks ago, end of the show? Is that a gay neighbor? Lance. Hold it right there, Diego. Freeze! Oh my God! Shoot him! You were great. How? Why? So, um, what do you really do? Actually, really, I'm a bartender. Oh. I sort of acted, and I sort of wrote. But mostly, I... You what? Watch you. Oh, my. Thank you. What can I get? He man? does. Spritzers, table 15. Round up. Nice work, little feather. Bitch. Squaw. Now, <laughs> is everyone ready to kick up the heels and rustle their petticoats for a new outpatient lounge? Yeah. Cow hands, cow gals, I give you a very special treat. <laughs> They've been practicing for weeks. Let's give a big whoop dia to Dr. Sidney Greenblatt and his Mount Sinai Ramblers. <laughs> Yeah, they're really playing those instruments. Yeah, I believe that. Oh, Swing your partner, round you go. Alamon left and Dozy do. Do you have a lover? No. Are you seeing someone? No. Do I care? You are unbelievable. Find out. Don't you love this part? <sighs> what part? Well you, well, you can't find out enough about the other person, where it's all interesting, where it all seems sexy. First steps. Oh, you move fast. I'll catch up. Because if I don't touch you very soon, I may explode. <sighs> Until about a minute ago, I had a very good reason not to go out with you. Which was? No, wait, let me guess. Is it because I'm a cowboy and you're a waiter? We're a proud people. What a shame. You know, in a better world, I could ask you to square dance. Really? One square dance? Bow to your partners, set once more. Cater waiters, take the floor! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this party is kicking. This is 
I can't call it. This is my fantasy. No, we're not allowed to have fantasies. Not anymore. Come on, one more dosey do. -si -do. No, I can't. I can't explain it. It's not you. It's. Yes, it is you. What? I have to go. Well, Jesus Christ, you have to be an asshole to this poor, good looking man. Look how sad he looks like a little puppy. Thanks, Jeffrey, for ruining the party. Hi, I'm Sharon, and I'm a sexual compulsive. Hi, Sharon. Oh, that felt good. I feel like... I need a new wig. I'm on my way. Admitting I have a problem is the first step to healing. For the first time in my life, I feel like... I don't need a man to define myself. While you're stroking the... Hi there. So, he was really cute, this bartender. Oh, he's fantastic. Well, why aren't you seeing him? Oh, I don't know. I'm going nuts. Jeffrey, you're beginning to have a problem. On leave. Hi, guys. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, what a day. I am exhausted. Darius, aren't you supposed to leave your costume at the theater? No, we're filming the commercial. The new one. It ran late, I got stuck. So, you're not having sex anymore. What Jeffrey needs is to fall in love and have a relationship. Then all this sex thing will simply fall into place. Exactly. I mean, look at us. And look at how happy we are. He has a little glass of milk. <laughs> Sometimes I think we should be on a brochure for Middle America. Then everyone can say, oh, look, a wholesome gay couple. Oh, excuse me. You two are not wholesome. You're a decorator. Excuse me, an interior designer. And he's a dancer. You two are like Martha Stewart and Ann Miller. Which, believe me, I prefer. I, I just hate that gay role models are supposed to be just like straight people. As if even straight people are like that. That is so true. I was watching these two guys on Nightline on Gay Pride Day, and one of them said, Hi, I'm Bob Wheeler, and I'm an attorney, and my lover, he's a surgeon, and we would like to show America that all gays are not limp-wristed, screaming queens. There are gay truck drivers and gay cops and gay lumberjacks, and I just thought, ooh, get her. <laughs> <laughs> Get her. Who's Martha Stewart? She writes picture books about gracious living. Martha says that nothing else matters if you can do a nice dried floral arrangement. I worship her. And, um, who's Ann Miller? Leave this house. Some people think I'm dumb. Just because I'm a chorus boy with an eighth grade education. Well, I live in a townhouse and I don't pay rent. I mean, I go to screenings and I take cabs. Dumb, huh? And yes, I'm in Cats. Now and forever. And I love it. I do. I figure I was too young for a chorus line and too happy for Les Mis. I never got that show. Les Mis. I mean, it's about this French guy, right? Who steals a loaf of bread and then he suffers for the rest of his life for toast. Get over it. <laughs> Why are there four place settings? What a surprise. Oh my, <laughs> my, my. I met Stephen at the show house opening, and I think you're 
perfect for each other. Me too. Hi there. Steve is a bartender, so you have something in common. You can fall in love and cater together. It'll be just like Roots. He even brought flowers. Oh my god. What are you doing? I'm gonna kick this man in the ass. Jeffrey! Jeff? Jeffrey, you are being ridiculous. Look at this man. He's a dreamboat. Which one? Me. <gasps> Heaven. This <laughs> section is not completely Heaven. out of hand. Me. He's not having sex anymore. He's not having sex. What's the problem? You mean no nasty? Wait, he's turning down a date? I hate him. Jeffrey! Jeffrey! <laughs> listen to him. reason! Jeffrey! Jeffrey! Steve? From the first second I saw you at the gym, I've thought of nothing and no one else. I have fantasized about you, naked, without you kissing me, talking to me, walking down the street. Look at all these people watching. I'd be like, yo, I've only leave. committed with 5,000 other men. I think you could change my life and change the world. I think it's completely and totally possible that we could be the happiest people alive, except. I'm not having sex anymore, so. Sorry. Jeffrey, wait. No. Jeffrey. Jeffrey, calm down. Jeffrey, calm down. Now, I want to see you. We can take this as slow as you like. First step. How about tomorrow night? <laughs> I'm working till 10. Afterwards, we'll have dinner. You'll have fun. You'll have appetizers. I don't know. We're your friends. You must obey us. You have no choice, Jeffrey. Well, oh, come on. You're gay. You're single. It isn't pretty. <laughs> it isn't pretty. Yes. Yes. <laughs> So she tried to get herself a man <laughs> while, while everyone's on the yeah. subject. Uh, Jeffrey. Yes? I just, um, just so there's no surprises. Sure. I'm HIV positive. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, okay, right. Does, does that make a difference? No. Of course not. Oh, please. HIV positive men are the hottest. I mean, I'd understand. I, I'd be hurt and I'd be disappointed, but I just, I wanted to be clear. No, really, it's fine. I mean, come on, it's the 90s, right? Unfortunately. At 10. I can't wait. Do you feel lost? Oh, you're so corny. I forgot Did she you? was in this. So you come to me and you say, Deborah, what can I do to feel better about myself and the world? And you know what I say? Love, it's real, it works, go for it! <laughs> now I'm not here as a priest or a guru or any no. sort of religious leader, I'm just someone who <laughs> Likes to talk. Wasn't that Kathy Jemini uh, right next to him? To me and say, I didn't even notice that. I'm in love with an alcoholic. What should I do? And I say, don't look to me for answers. Look to yourself. <laughs> Find that source of unconditional love. Find that all-encompassing ultimate love. Surrender to that unending infinite love that will let you say, hey, Fuck you! Get out of my house till you stop drinking! <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> With the bad perm. Oh, God. Oh, With the bad perm? Oh, my God. Baby booties that I crocheted for your baby. I know you discourage gifts except for donations, but 
I just had to. Well, thank you. Now, what's up? Well, um, I just, I just broke up with my boyfriend. Well, we've all been there, haven't we? With my boyfriend? <laughs> with my boyfriend? Well, um, Josh and I lived together for, I'm sorry, this is hard. It's okay. For about four years, and then he lost his job, and then we just started really arguing all the time, and then he, he tried to hit me with the car, and my car, you know. Whoa, man. But I still love him. Okay. Okay, okay, <laughs> let me work on this. It sounds to me like you've got a problem with everybody's favorite. Low self-esteem. Of course, I don't know you. Maybe you should have low self-esteem. I just really want a relationship. You want a relationship? Because you're afraid. Right. It all goes back to mother, doesn't it? Did you love your mother? Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess. I Don't guess. lie to me. Okay. I'll call her. Right. <laughs> I'll call her. Did she her. withhold? Well. Was there abuse? No, I don't. Dig deep? Yes, definitely. Yes, yes. <laughs> Go see her. Okay. Tell her. Tell her. Mom, Mom. you were chilling. Yeah, chilling. You forgot my birthday. Oh, my you beat me with a baseball bat. bat. But I understand. I understand. I forgive. I, forgive. I love you. I love you. And Mom, Mom. now you're old. Oh, God. You've got a plastic hip. <laughs> and I've got the bat! Right. Next! Oh. Homosexual. Back. Damn, girl, you gonna call out somebody like that? I can walk. You can always walk. Shut up. <laughs> hey Shut there. Up. Hit me. <laughs> you can always walk. Um, uh, Deborah, um, I think that sex is, is just about the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I've met someone, and he's HIV positive, and I'm about to self-destruct. Now, I'm a waiter, mm -hmm. so I can't afford your cassettes or the mug or the calendar. Do they mention this problem? They sure do. It's in my book, Chapter 10, Cheap Waiters. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 look, look. What you're talking about is evil. Am I right? Um, Why is there disease? Why was there a Hitler? Why are these acrylic? <laughs> Here's the lowdown on evil. It is the absence of love. Ta-da! That's it. Case closed. Where you don't have love, illness makes a home. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you, are you saying that people get sick because they don't love enough or because people don't love them or? It may sound simplistic. It may sound cruel. It makes no sense. It may sound like I'm blaming people for their illness. And maybe I am. That's Deborah. Deborah! Thanks, Deborah. You didn't help me at all. Hi, my name is Tim, and uh, I am a sexual compulsive. Hi, Tim. Hi. Uh, today, I have already performed oral sex on three different people. I can't help myself. I'm an agent. Well, he's a nice place right here. Steve, hi. It's Jeffrey, and uh, I'm working later than I thought. Private party, you know. So, so can we can we reschedule next week, maybe? Um, I I can't wait. Uh, I'll call you. Take care. Oh, 
Oh my god, that's the reason why I bought this soundtrack was this song right here. Oh, poor baby. Him getting sick? Me getting sick? Why is the idea of a simple dinner now like an evening of Russian roulette? I couldn't stay home and be alone with myself, so I hit the streets. Jeffrey! Um, what are you? We're the Pink Panthers. We're part of a patrol to prevent gay bashing. It was Darius's idea to join up. I wanted to do something. Something with a t-shirt. Don't you just love it? Oh, look. The gay pride statues. <laughs> Come on. I love Patrick Stewart. He's so good. Carla, think about it. Stop it. You're not fat. So, Jeffrey, how was your date? Where's Steve? He, uh, I had to cancel. I just got a flu. Did you call him? Of course. Uh, left a message on his machine. He left a message. Would you call him again? Pink Panthers. Oh, hello, darling. Is someone in trouble? Really? No. Oh, no. What? What? We must get over to Washington Square right away. It's Todd, that huge bodybuilder from the gym. Oh, no, not Todd. In shorts. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I just caught that. In shorts. He's a doll. Taxi. Hi, my name is Dave, and I am sexually compulsive. Hi, Dave. I, uh, I love sex. Love it. Uh, maybe it's because I have a constant erection. I mean, like 24 hours a day, because my penis is 14 inches long. Ooh. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Ooh, hi, Dave. My 14 inches long. Jesus Christ. Oh, you got caught, bitch. Oh, wow. Um, did, did you, um, did you get my... Yeah, yeah, I got your message. What? A party. Poor guy. Look, I was so revved up, I was out, I was out dancing. Oh, great. Great, because, I, you know, I had to, uh, you know. I know. No, I don't, really. I... Jeffrey, it's not the first time this has happened to me. You freaked. Cold feet. That is not true. That is not true. Why are you lying? Goodbye, Jeffrey. Steve. Steve. Please. Steve, come on, please. I'm, s I'm sorry. You know, I can understand about the HIV thing. It's not easy. But I don't like lying about it. Not anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're sorry. It's the new national anthem. Like you said before that you thought about me. That you fantasized. I know. Do you still? Yeah. You know, there's a lot of things we can do. Yeah. Safe things. 
hot things. No. But. You know, I can take being sick. I can fucking take dying, but I can't take this. All right. St you, you, sh you should have told me. I did. Well, sooner, before things happen. Oh, before I kissed you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, you didn't have all the information. Okay. I've been positive for almost five years. I was sick once. My T cells are decent. And every once in a while, like 50 times a day, an hour, I get very tired of being a person with AIDS. A red ribbon. So sometimes I forget. Sometimes I choose to forget. Sometimes I choose just to be a gay man with a dick. Can you understand? Oh, you poor oh. baby. Yeah. Can I forget again? No. I want you, Jeffrey. I very well may even love you. That means nothing. Hey, that should beat anything. That should win. I know. So how come you get to be the one with the problem? Why do I get to be both sick and begging? Why won't you kiss me? I hate that football jersey jacket Jeffrey's wearing. It, just, it seems so juvenile. What are you wearing that for? <sighs> Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you're sick. And I'm sorry that I lied. And I'm sorry that life is suddenly radioactive. Apology. I hate love, and I hate the world for giving me everything and then taking it all back. Do you, you really want me to do that? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> no! Hey, fuck you, man! Man, you think you're so special? You go to the gym, you got nice friends. You think you're so hot? You think you're better than us? I'm, I'm a waiter. Oh, a waiter! Like at a restaurant? Sort of, yeah. They let you touch food, put your little faggoty fingers on it, huh? That's right, that's right. I, I touch it all the time. Um, I spit in it. Ah, oh, Jesus! Oh, uh, what restaurant? Pizza House. Uh -oh. Damn, man! Uh -oh. Let's go! Dust his ass! Right, fine, fine, fine. You have weapons? So do I. Well, I got a knife. What do you got? Huh? Huh? Irony? 
adjectives, eyebrows. Fuck you! Oh. 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 God damn, Mother Teresa just gets around at the most perfect time. She's like Captain save -a Terry! <laughs> Ow! Ow! You know, when that asshole started kicking me, I had this horrible, stupid thought. Just a flash. I thought... At least it's physical contact. Wow. <laughs> hey, hey, I just found my substitute for sex. Substitute for everything. Bruises, answering machines, fear. Holding hands at midnight. Neath the starry sky, it's nice work if you can get it, and you can get it if you try. Loving one who loves you, and then taking that vow. <laughs> nice work if you can get it. And if you get it, won't you tell me? How? Can you tell if you're having a nervous breakdown? Uh, yeah. Uh, let's, let's, uh, I can probably give you a, a clue right here. Let's look here. No, go back, sweetheart. Go back. Go back. Let's see here. Let's see here. Um, a scene of a nervous breakdown. Let me see. We have every piece of junk food in the tri-state area. Uh, it must be Coca-Cola sponsored. Lots of coke. God, Jesus Christ, you, you know, this is how you get ants, Jeffrey. You have food all over the goddamn floor. Cookies on top of the receptacle bin. I was going to really uh, read you on your how dirty your stove is, but I got to clean my stove, so I can't really uh, knock you on that, my, my dear. Can you tell if you're having a nervous breakdown? I should. That looked like me a couple weeks ago. Hello. Well, howdy, stranger. It's Jeff. I love them. Well, isn't this a special occasion? What if I could really talk to them? And what if they had some answers? Or would that just be too weird? Dad. I've stopped having sex. Eileen, Jeff stopped having sex. Are you going to talk I've to your got parents? Enough here, dear. No sex. You mean just safe sex, don't you, dear? Uh, no, Mom. I hate safe sex. Wrestling those condoms. Water-based lubricant. Dry kissing. Sweetheart, are you a top or a bottom? Mother, have you tried any of those workshops? Oh, what about a jerk-off club? Hmm. How about... Phone sex. What? Oh, Fred, let's help him out. Sweetheart, what are you wearing? Uh, <laughs> uh, sweats and a t-shirt. Oh, that's hot. That's very hot. Are you alone? No, Dad, I'm not going to have phone sex with you and Mom. Darling, have you looked at any videos? Hardcore? Have you explored <coughs> masturbation? 
Oh, as if we have to ask. Sometimes I never could get into that bathroom. <laughs> we like that new Jeff Stryker film. Oh. Power Jeff. Tool, too. Oh, dear. Do you like it when they shave their assholes? Ah. Shave their what? Oh, and what about this person, Steve? Oh. He seems real nice. Boy, everyone knows that this guy. Dad, Steve is HIV positive. Oh, and a dream boat. Check the basket. Ah. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, hi, my, my name is Jeffrey, and I'm just like you. Jeffrey. I'm a sexual compulsive. But I haven't had sex in almost six months. So I never even think about having sex. Not anymore. But I, I used to be compulsive. <laughs> All because of Billy Kearney. I blame him. That's where it started. He, he kept daring me. I dare you to take off your clothes, even your underpants. I dare you to kiss me on the mouth. Oh, God. Two naked 14-year-old boys in front of the big mirror in my parents' bedroom. <laughs> I'm having sex. And I'm watching myself have sex. At 14, Please wow. Please don't do that. Please don't stop. Stop. I'm working a memorial. Another one. Yeah. Oh, you. hello. It's for a curator at the Met. The speakers are great. Straight brother. This doctor. Ah, oh, this gorgeous Italian boyfriend. Oh, wow. Love me some Italian. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so disgusting. You know what I'm doing? I'm cruising a memorial. Oh, please. Everybody is. It's not that we're not sad, it's just that there are all these guys here. Hey, who's that over there? Talking to Darius? Oh, it's Todd Malcolm. <laughs> what? You know, the guy from the gym. Oh my god, he's, he's blind, isn't he? It's just a side effect, they say. <sighs> Jeffrey? Jeffrey! How much? Wait a minute, hold on. That, that was the same guy they were, they were like ran to see in shorts. How long is this afterwards? Because if he looks this like sickly and feeble, oh my God, Jesus Christ. How much was this like six months after the fact? During the Pink Panther thing in the, in the, um, in the timeline? Oh my God, you poor baby. When I first came to this city, Todd Malcolm was a god. I used to watch him and his lover dancing. People, people would gasp. Oh, stop it. Hi, guys. Hey, you see Todd? Of course. He looks better. Oh, mm -hmm. Darius, Todd is dying. He's like, look at me, sweetheart. Mm, yeah. I'm sorry. Jeffrey, you're What's a little bit of a downer. This is about Todd, right? Oh, do you know what we were talking about? This memorial, cannoli frozen, oh, drinks of water, and I hate it. Hated that music. I mean, at my memorial, I want Liza. You are not having a memorial. Okay, in a million years. 
you are not going to get sick. I thought I made that clear. But I was sick. I had pneumonia. And it went away. But I want the winter garden. I do. I want all the other cats to come out and to sing Darius to the tune of memory. <laughs> Darius, we all thought you were fabulous. And the service will run for years. <laughs> Stupid. What? This, this is a memorial. And I, I mean, we're making remarks. We're dishing it. Oh, please. Picture mine. And remember, Jeffrey, I want an open coffin. They can say it to my face. Good idea. Well, I like it. I mean, cute guys and Liza and Dish. It's not a cure for AIDS, Jeffrey, but it's the opposite of AIDS. They're praying. Well, come on. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> With the hats. Wasn't that marvelous? Oh, please. It's still ballet. It is the Nutcracker. It's my favorite. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to be so afraid of the big dancing mice. Now I'm a cat. His therapist is ecstatic. <laughs> I'm fine. I just... I... <sighs> oh, shit. Sure. Tides are turning. I'm dizzy. Please, everyone, please stand back. Here, put, put, put this under his head. Will somebody please get an ambulance? No, 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 I'm fine. Don't talk. You are going to be fine. Excuse me, I'm the house manager. Is there a problem? Oh my God. Well, it's all right, sweetheart. Now, lie still. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm just dehydrated. You dehydrated? It's from, from the intraconazole. What's the intraconazole? Uh, it's some medicine, sweetheart. My cousin's on it. Is it like Prozac? Here. Put this on his forehead. I'm, I'm fine. I just, I'm okay. No, I'm okay. Maybe you shouldn't move it. Oh, we have a car. No, I'm fine. Thank you. We'll get this back to you. I'm fine. Look, I'm walking. Damn it. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, I forgot. No. Okay, good. Good, good. I can't remember if his lover dies in this movie. I hope. Oh my god, I forgot Nathan Lane was in this movie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he just grabs him on his ass. Excuse me. You can tell he was a laugh. These two churches, these blank. What the fuck is? What church are we going to? This way. Holy, these are just watch them. In here. We want in here. What did you even follow him in here for? Where, where are we? Oh, uh, storeroom, old hymnals. They need to be rebound. Oh, Jesus. Well, at least he's not a child. Hey! What? What's wrong? 
Is it the collar? Is that a turn off? Wait, wait, no! What's going on here? Why did you bring me in here? I'm attracted to you. The door's locked? Wait! You really a priest? Of course. But aren't you supposed to be straight and, and, and celibate? Maybe you didn't hear me. I'm a Catholic priest. Historically, that falls somewhere in between chorus boy and florist. Come here, you big lug. Get away from me. Don't touch me. I'm sorry. Hands off. Wait, what is with you? One of my best friends, he's sick. And he fell, but he's home now, but I just can't. I've been walking around for 48 hours. And I just keep asking myself, what if it was Steve? I mean, what? How could I love somebody and watch that happen? Steve? Why did, why did he do this? Huh? You're a priest. You, you have to tell me. Why did he do this? Oh. Why did God make the world this way? Why do I have to live in it? Don't hit me. No, you tell me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All I wanted was a quickie. <laughs> I show you the true face of God. Oh, I tell you, will you listen? Of course. Really listen? Yes. Oh, God. Okay. Here's how you see God. He's a Columbia recording artist. You got your idea, God, where most gay kids get it? My Fair Lady, original cast. See, George Bernard Shaw, up in the clouds, manipulating Rex Harrison and Julie Andrews on strings. It was your parents' album. You were little. You thought it was a picture of God. Yeah. Well, you were almost there because God is on this record. Learner and low. Why can't the English? Wouldn't it be lovely? I'm telling you, the only times I really feel the presence of God are when I'm having sex and during a great Broadway musical. Come on. That's how you treat a record? <laughs> Number two. These ladies are like, what is going down up in this church? Hi. Look. Huh? Hello, gorgeous. Okla. Oh, my. Oh. Okla. Oh, you're, oh, you're nuts. Oh, excuse me? Those people out there, they're worshipping resurrections, virgin births, Ben-Hur, and I'm nuts? Uh, no, I'm, I'm talking about a, a plague. I'm, I'm talking about, I, I, I don't know, evil. Yes, Satan. Well, that's another story. I've seen him. What? Disease, hospitals, fear? Phantom, Miss Saigon, Sunset Boulevard. Gotta go. Why? Because I haven't told you the secret of life in five words or less. You're getting antsy? I need to know. Okay, okay. Oh, God, I am so horny. Do you know what it's like in here? Father, I abused myself eight times last week. Father, I'm attracted to my brother-in-law. Father, I'm having impure thoughts about my soccer coach. Where are the Polaroids? One of my mind reader, say six Hail Marys and bring me your shorts. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is secret. Escalator. <sighs> Darling, have you ever been to a picnic and someone blows up a balloon and everyone starts tossing it around and it's always just about to touch the ground, but someone always gets there just in time to tap it back up. That balloon, that's God. The very best in all of us, the kindness, the heavy petting. Funny girl. <laughs> what about the bad stuff? When the balloon hits the ground, when it bursts. Who cares? Evil bores me. It's one note. It doesn't sing. No. Oh. 
Of course life sucks. It always will, so why not make the most of it? How dare you not lunge for any shred of happiness? With Steve, who's sick, who I'm afraid to touch? So maybe you need a rubber, or a surgical mask, or a roll of plastic wrap. How dare you give up sex when there are children in Europe who can't get a date? The only real blasphemy is the refusal of joy, of a corsage and a kiss. Amen. I had a dream. A dream about you, baby. It's gonna come true. Cause, baby, you'll be swell. You'll be great. Come on, ladies, you know the words. Gonna have the whole world on a plate. Starting here, starting now. Honey, everything's coming up. Roses, Donna, 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 Donna. Oh, is there a pride up in this show? Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Listen it. up. The parade is about to begin. Oh, God. The first unit will be as follows. Dykes on bikes. Concerned Pan-Asian bisexuals. Black gay Republicans. Hello? Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Are you with the parade? I'm lost. What group Olympia Dukakis. Find out. We're marching together. I'm so proud of my pre-operative transsexual lesbian son. Hey, Steve. Jeffrey. Lesbian hey. son. Uh, what group are you marching with? Excuse me. Could you take our picture with this nice young man? This is our first parade. Parents of transsexuals. Pre-operative <laughs> transsexual lesbians. At first, I was confused as anyone. More confused. When Anthony first Angelique, came Angelique, Ma. Oh, you were still Tony at the time. He comes to me and he says, Ma, I want to be a woman. I always felt like one. I said, what are you, gay? He said, no, I'm not gay. I'm a lesbian. Exactly. My first thought was when I was pregnant with you. What did I do? Did I tilt a whirl? Did I bungee jump? Bound for glory? Oh, uh, the fountain. <laughs> It. But you didn't judge. Uh, listen, alone, late at night, I judged plenty. I judged you, I judged me. I said to myself, I said, I don't understand this. What does he need? You know what made me feel good? What? Summer Olympics. I was watching them on TV, feeling sorry for myself. They kept showing these parents of these girls in the pool. Synchronized swimmers. Exactly. And the parents, they kept crying and waving flags. I said to myself, hey, if they can feel proud of their kids just because they can stand on their head in the deep end, I can feel proud of mine. Aww. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Right, one more, one no, more. No, come on, Ma. Let's... All right. You think we're going to need sunscreen? Over there. there oh, okay. Thank you. Right. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Jeez. 
Jeffrey. Wow, long time no see. You look great. Thanks, you too. Has anyone seen Darius? I lost him somewhere near those S and M people. I swear I saw this terrifying man wearing a dog collar, harness, and jack boots snarling at me. And I looked closer, and it was my upholsterer. <laughs> oh my God! Should I get my nipples pierced? What? I just saw this big guy, totally naked, except for a jock strap and two gold rings right here and here. For guest towels. <laughs> <laughs> what group are you guys with? Gay men who need a cigarette. Interior designers fight AIDS. Cab with flair. Hey. Ah, uh, the place. sheep meadow. <laughs> Come along, Jeffrey. You can help. Uh, no, I'll catch him. Oh. Come on. I got it, Steve. Oh, thanks. Hey, I know. I'm gonna put you on the best float with the porn stars. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, um, I'm not marching. What? Yeah, I was just taking a shortcut through the park. I kind of forgot it was Gay Pride Day. Well, I hope this that guy did it. <laughs> he didn't forget. <laughs> because I know I gave you a pretty hard time. No, you didn't. I tried. Seriously, it's it's good to see you. And I'm not hitting on you. And why not? Hmm? Uh, <laughs> Jeffrey. Oh. He looks so good in that fucking... I'm, I gotta meet somebody. Uh, pardon me? Yeah, um, my sublet, I hope. Your sublet? Are, are you moving? Where? I shouldn't have said anything. No, no, come on. Uh, back to Wisconsin. Bye. Whoa, <laughs> Wisconsin? Yeah, but not for a month. I, really, I gotta go. <laughs> Wait a minute. Steve, it's a good idea. It really is, because th th there's no car alarms, there's no potholes. No parades? No parades. Well, what about Sterling? What, what about what about Dennis? Steve Don't... Howard to flatbed three. Steve uh, Howard. What are you gonna do in Wisconsin? Uh, live. Breathe. Hide. Uh, until, until it's all over. Until what's all over, Jeffrey? AIDS? your life either <laughs> boy good to have known you hmm. it was a growth experience come on. I'll come back who knows someday someday he might be you know, dead that's the difference between you and me and that Jesus one word Christ. someday a real luxury item hey hey there you are Hey. Oh, I've seen this guy uh, before. Sean. It's Jeffrey. Really? At last, I've heard way too much about you. Uh, are you two guys, um... Yeah. Yeah. Two months now. We met on the parade committee. Five, four, three. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. Good afternoon. This is Chuck Farley. Kevin Nealon. Say notorious gay <laughs> pride march. Homosexuals here. have made great strides in recent years, and I am surrounded by them. Are you homosexuals? <laughs> yes, Chuck. We are. Chuck. Hi. I love your show. You are so cute. Hi. Hi. We're here. We're queer. And we're on TV. <laughs> no, no, it is working, really. And here's a regular fella. Why, he could be anyone. Your son, your brother, the guy next door, your name? Uh, Jeffrey. And how are you celebrating Gay Pride Day? Uh, I'm running. Um. Provocative. Oh, hey. Well, it seems we have a mother and daughter team here, is that right? Uh, that's right. Don't ask. And what are you ladies going to do to celebrate <laughs> this ask. Gay Pride occasion? Something very special? You bet, Chuck. We're going to ride on a flatbed truck for the whole world to see. Yeah. Because we are proud of who and what we are. Yeah. And after the parade, Angelique is going to remove her penis. It's coming right off. Yeah. It's coming right off. So 
change. Uh, can I see him? No. He's, uh... He wouldn't know who you are or talk. It's a coma. Um... Do you need anything? Uh... No, I'm fine. Where were you? Working. My last job. The Hilton. A whimper. Huh. Is his mom in there? No, she's back at our place getting some rest. He doesn't recognize anyone. Well, you never know. No, he doesn't. He's dead. Oh, shit. What? Half an hour ago. It's the first time that I've said it. Out loud. Oh, I forgot about this part. A brain hemorrhage. That's why it was so fast. <clears throat> These... These brain things. That's why three weeks ago he was marching on Fifth Avenue. With me. Friedman? Yeah. Come with me. Sterling? I'm so sorry. You're what? You're sorry. Oh, thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you. Darius is dead. Everyone and I'm sorry, too. I'm sorry. Um, is there, is there anything that I can do? I wasn't enough. I wasn't important enough. I couldn't snub it. Couldn't scare it off with a look. Couldn't shield him with raw silk and tassels and Tybex. The limits of style. But you loved Darius, and Darius loved oh, you. Jesus, Jeffrey, how can you? What? You know, I don't know why, Jeffrey. I'm obviously quite out of my mind, but right now... You hate me? Jeffrey, perhaps you should just not be here. Not just right now. Please, Sterling. Please, please let me help you. What can I do? What can you do, Jeffrey? Nothing. You're leaving. You're going away to someplace insane. For a few more days. No. Like... Please go. You are not part of this. This has nothing to do with you. You know, Darius once said that you were the saddest person he ever knew. Why did he say that? Because he was sick, because he had a fatal disease, and he was one million times happier than you. You loved Darius. And look what happens. Do you want me to go through this? With Steve? Yes. Jeffrey. Guess what? It's the tunnel of light you're supposed to see right before you die. With all your dead relatives. What are you? Are you, are you some sort of grief-induced hallucination? Why did you come back? To see you. I figure you got here too late. I was already in the coma. 
Sweetheart, it's me, Aunt Phyllis. And Uncle Barney. And Cousin Gary. <laughs> You'll love it. You look great. Meow. <laughs> Did you bring me anything? Um, flowers. Where? I was in a hurry. Look who's here. Grandma Rose. Are you married? Jeffrey, I'm dead. You're not. I know that. You do? Prove it. What, what do you mean? <laughs> Go dancing. Go to a show. Make trouble. Make out. Hate AIDS, Jeffrey. Not life. I love that old lady. That old lady was a 2 one foo if you remember that. Just think of AIDS like the guest that won't leave. The one we all hate. But you have to remember. What? Hey, it's still our party. Darling, they're waiting. Wait, wait! Is that it? Is that all you have to tell me? Be nice to Sterling. I'm, I'm not a complete asshole. But I have to see you. It's an emergency. Um, Ten o'clock tonight at the Essex House, please. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Monsieur. What? All right, what's going on? You said it was important. It's a gangbang. Table for two? Excuse me? He said table for two, sweetheart. Didn't we have a date? <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> well, I didn't think you'd come when I left a message. I didn't know if, if John would let you. Sean. Dump him. What? Just tell him it's over. Be really mean. Well, it's a little too late for that. Why? Sean dumped me. He did? Really? Well, he couldn't take it. The sex. He was exhausted. He's 22. Were you upset? Of course. Um, uh, <laughs> of course. Goodbye, Jeffrey. Steve, if I asked you to, could we have sex? Safe sex. Some kind of sex. Tonight. What? You... <laughs> You are really unbelievable. <laughs> what is this, Jeffrey? Well, you think it's so easy, huh? You just leave a message. Ran a tuxedo. I am still HIV positive. So? So? So it doesn't go away, Jeffrey. It only gets worse. I know. Don't do this, don't you, you, you fucker! Don't you pretend, because I will not be your good deed. You're not, you're not. I'm too selfish. I don't want a red ribbon. Oh, I am touched. I want you. Say we have sex. Say we like it. And say tomorrow morning you decide to take off for Wisconsin. You won't. How do I know that? Because I'm. I'm not.
I'm a gay man. And I live in this city. And I am not an innocent bystander. Not anymore. I don't understand that line too much, but okay. So. How bad do you want it? Oh. Mother Teresa with a singing yeah, at the <laughs> piano. This is nice. You want it. <laughs> Suddenly, it's my decision. I get to be Jeffrey. Oh, fuck you. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I think you should woo me first. Dinner. Maybe dancing. And then... Unbelievably hot sex. Not yet. Oh, what? what do you want? Jewelry. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 But Steve, first you have to promise me something. Promise me that you will not get sick. Why are you it's done? And you will not die. Never. A liar. Boy, you trying to bring down the mood every time, Jeffrey. Jesus, we, we really, um, we shouldn't do this. I mean, we're really asking for it. I mean, you give me one good reason. One good reason why we even have a prayer. One, one good reason. I do. All you have the He has no idea what you're talking about with this. He wasn't groped by Nathan Lane like you were. This is cute though. God, I love the score in this soundtrack. Someday I know he'll smile hello. How warm the welcome will be. I'm looking for someone. Someone who's looking for me. Standing there, we'll learn to care. In fact, immediately. Woo! Directed by Christopher Christopher Ashley. Congratulations. I love your film. I'm so glad I got to watch this. Talk of little intimate things as though we got caught on the So, all right, that's pretty much it right there. Oh my God, I there was so much I forgot about this movie. I'm so glad I got to rewatch this, and I'm so glad. glad oops, I can't even talk. I can't, I'm so glad you guys got to watch it with me. Um, I don't know if YouTube is gonna let me 
put out the whole video i'll be out I'll, I'll put the whole video out there i don't give a shit um or if it'll be just like the highlights of we'll see um because i'm if i worst comes to worst i'll put the whole movie on the patreon and then the highlights i'll put on my youtube channel but hopefully i'll get the whole video on there on my youtube channel but um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that. I love this movie so much. The soundtrack was amazing. They, they had a, such a great cast of actors who played in this. And they all did such a great job. The amount of camp was perfect in my opinion. The just the aesthetic of the whole film was great. Jeffrey could be a little annoying throughout the whole thing, but that was the point of the story. You have to, you know, it, you know, it's the 90s. So, but yeah, I love this movie, and I, and this is such a great little pride movie. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see me react to more movies. Um, thank you so much. Y'all take care. Bye.